<laughs> well, let's talk about the Rumble last night. And uh, I'll start with the women's match. Uh, Matt, I'll start with you. Uh, your impressions of the women's match. Of course, Bailey takes it home. But is she really going to challenge Rhea? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's going to oh. happen. I think EO is going to. I think EO is going to get a taste of uh, of Bailey here coming up. Yep. No, I I absolutely believe we're going Bailey Rhea and Becky Rhea at WrestleMania. I think those are the matches. Um, I think Bailey is going to be pushed to her limits with how Damage Control is treating her, and she's going to strike while the iron's hot. And I think Bailey's going to be a monster babyface going into WrestleMania 40. Sounds like a plan. Um, what what else stood out to you in that match last night? I mean, I for full disclosure, I was watching the match, but I was also covering AEW Collision for <laughs> WrestleZone at the same time. So I was multitasking. So I didn't go. get to see everything out of the women's match and the four-way that I probably would have liked to see. I saw everything after Collision was over. Um, my favorite part of the women's rumble was Jordan Grace. Nice. Like, oh. I, I knew I knew yesterday afternoon that she was coming in. Mike Johnson for PW Insider broke that news. <laughs> and I was just like, man, that's so freaking awesome. And she had a great showing. They were not they were not holding back on referring to her as TNA knockouts mm -hmm. champion. Yeah. They mentioned TNA several times. When Naomi returned, they mentioned that she was over there in TNA. Like, I believe that there is some kind of forming relationship between TNA and WWE. And especially since the TNA Plus streaming service is handled by Endeavor, right? And Endeavor owns WWE. I, I, I think it's going to be a slowly but a slow and steady process. But I think we're going to see a lot more working relationship and partnership between WWE and TNA throughout 2024. Chris Ring chimes in on Facebook, letting us know, saying, "Very cool having Jordan Grace." In the Rumble, yes, it definitely was. I agree with that. And, Phil, I saw you clap in there when uh, that name came up. Uh, I guess you were pretty excited, too. So, I, I earlier in the day, I had started to see uh, people just talk about spoilers in general, not saying anything specific. And I was like, I'm avoiding. I'm not going to look at anything. Um, and and it was funny because I was I was around some people this week, and they, they were like, hints of things and i didn't really know so when she came out i was like oh my god it all makes sense now <laughs> um so i i was really i was just so happy to see her i think she is the um the right representative for tna uh i think she was she fit right in into that battle royal or excuse me the royal rumble so very very happy to see jordan there yeah i was too and and just coming off her um being here for tna for hard to kill and snake eyes tv tapings she has come such a long way and for her to get that opportunity you know she belonged she really did this wasn't just kind of a throwaway she went out there and just looked phenomenal looked apart and i was so impressed and you could tell that she knew this was her big chance and for her to go out there and shine like she did you know it and, and it's unbelievable that for the most part, I think that's what a lot of people are talking about with her and Jade Cargill, uh, you know, is, is unbelievable to me that this actually happened, but you know, it's, it's a new regime. It's a new time and, uh, you know, very happy for Jordan. So something that, that, that was just said though, I, I'm, I'm feeling a, a little bit about where would Jade go into WrestleMania? Is Jade going going to be shotgunned right into a title match? I think everything Matt just said is is true. I think all that's happening. But part of my brain is like, and then is it also Jade in a three way in one of the one of the two women's championship matches? I, I don't think know. it's I think it's Jade against Bianca Belair. Okay, I, I think they set that up in the Rumble last night with the stare down and everything. Mark Henry's two proteges going at it at WrestleMania, I, I think that makes the most sense, and I, I think that's the match we're going to get. I, I could be wrong. I mean, they might even throw Naomi in there, make it a triple threat, um, because you can't you can't bring Naomi in after everything she did in TNA and not give her a big WrestleMania match. And to throw her back in a tag team of some sorts after the way she left the last time does not seem like a good idea. Right. So may, maybe they let those three women triple threat, um, but they, they 
WWE has a good pro. They they have a good problem right now with all the talent they have in their women's division because they're all there's there's a lot of people who just rightfully deserve a spot at WrestleMania and they're gonna have to figure out how all the puzzle pieces fit. Mm-hmm. See, I think they've got to be careful with Jada. I don't know if she's quite ready for that match yet. Well, there there's a reason so, she's been working for months in the performance center. Right. And I and I think that there there's some people on the roster that you could give her a shot but man i i I think they've got to watch it and not shoot her up the ladder too fast now if if they they're watching her and they think she's ready to do it then you know by all means but i would be really careful because the last thing you want to do is put her out there in a situation that she's not going to succeed and then everybody's like oh you know she's not that good and then you and then you ruin it so you know that's you know that's up to the pros to decide i'm you know that's not me but you know i would i would watch it before you start putting her in a ring with bianca belair and saying go for it so that's just i I gotta i gotta believe the amount of work that she's putting in at the performance center by wrestlemania she should be ready to have a good match with bianca belair and maybe i'm wrong and look if you're worried about her a triple threat makes all the more sense because she doesn't have to do as much in a triple threat you know, she can dive out and lay out in, in certain points in the match and let Naomi and Bianca, you know, do their thing. So I, I think she's going to be in, in, in a showcase match at WrestleMania. I just don't know for sure um, how much confidence they have in her, like you, like you said. So I guess we'll, I guess we'll find out in less than two months. I guess we will. 